Welcome to Romantic Designs Artist Studio. My name is Sharon Broussard and I'm a Canadian sculptor. This is one of my sculptures. It's made from Powertex and it is an angel. Today I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to do angel wings. So let's get started. First off, build yourself a frame, a wire frame. Cover it in netting and then power tex it. Let it dry. Once it's dry, then we can start our different various applications. Right off the bat, I want to tell you that I thought this would be a great idea. Buy this little jingly stuff, just apply it in rows on the wings. Uh, it does not work. I'm going to save you some money and some time. This doesn't work. What does work? A nice sheer lace. Because Powertex is also a glue, simply put a coat of Powertex on the wing, cover it with a lace, and cut around the edge. If you want the layered look, then you can also buy lace on a strip. And simply cut your lace in short strips and layer it one at a time. The end result is this. It's quite nice. Now another application would be using a heavy doily with the end result. Now another application would be feathers. You can buy these feathers at any of the uh, stores. They're not very expensive at all and you get uh, a lot of feathers in the bag. Now once you make the wings with the feathers, the sculpture no longer is an outdoor sculpture because the feathers of course uh, won't stand up to the weather. But it makes a beautiful, beautiful uh, wing. And the final application, and the one that I used for this particular angel, is adding a flex to it, a shiny little flex. And again, that would uh, make the sculpture not something I could put outside, but the end result was, was so beautiful I had to use it. So there you go. There's four different ways of doing angel wings. Happy sculpting!